Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about things that you should consider before you choose your college at Durham University and also about Castle as well. So you've made the decision to go to university and you're thinking about Durham, so what's next? When you apply you have to go through the UCAS as normal but instead of applying to colleges like Oxford and Cambridge you apply to your department first and then you state your preference for your college uh, on the same UCAS form as well. Once you get your offer from your department then you will be allocated to a college hopefully of your choice. There isn't a tactical way of applying to a certain college however you do have to state your preference for uh, for example, university college, if you do want to, a chance to get in. I know that the applicants per place ratio changes every year for different colleges as well. So it is worth investigating before choosing a college as well, whether that be uh, going to an open day or even emailing the college office and admissions as well. These should give you an idea of what the statistics look like every year, so it is definitely worth the time finding out as well. I definitely recommend coming to a university open day before you actually confirm your place, just because I was really torn between a few universities and in the end the open day did tick the box for me to choose Dome University. So when you come to university, it is literally just what you make of it. So whether you get sorted into a college which isn't particularly the one that you wanted, you will still have a good time and I haven't heard anyone complaining about their college in my two years of experience here. So in my last video I talked about how at Durham we have the Hill Colleges and also the Bailey Colleges. Today I'm going to be focusing more on University College and also the traditions and things that we do at the college as well. Like I said earlier, it is literally what you make of it. So if you don't like the college life, um, which again it isn't for everyone, then you do have the choice to not get involved as much as some people might and also you can get involved as much as you want as well. When you're choosing your college you should think about things like where you want to stay, whether you want to be surrounded by the history of the place or whether you want to live in a modern building or even the size of the college as well. At Castle we do have a slightly smaller community. We have about 250 freshers every year and that makes up to about 700 to 800 students. And because we have a slightly smaller community, it is a tight-knit one as well. So we do have a very strong castle spirit and we do have a lot of traditions as well. For example, we have our formal dinners twice a week where students come into the hall wearing their full academic attire, so their dress or a suit with a gown, and they have Latin grace and also a uh, three-course meal served to them at the table. At Castle we have 11 JCR Executive Committee members, so these are the head boys and head girls of the college, and basically they run most of the things around the college. For example, we have our senior student and also the vice senior student, so these are the people who basically have the admin and also secretarial role of the college. They're in charge of um, basically keeping the rest of the executive committee members in line. They are uh, the middlemen between the college and the college office and also the university as well. Then we have the social chairman who is in charge of all the social events and also the balls across the year in college. We have the treasurer in charge of the finance of the JCR. We have the bar and vice bar chairs who are the head of the bar committee. Then we have the services manager who is in charge of all the services that we provide at Castle. For example, the vending machines, the table tennis table and the pool table, things like that. And also formal dinners as well. Then we have the development officer who is in charge of running the Freshers Week and also the sponsorship committee and also liaising with the alumni officer. Then we have the Unions and Societies Officer who is in charge of liaising with the Durham Student Union and also the sports team around the college. And we have the Welfare Officer and the Campaigns Officer who are in charge of leading the welfare team. And these are all current students who decide to volunteer for a role on the Executive Committee. Unlike some other colleges where they might offer sabbatical roles, so these are paid jobs, but at Castle, these are all just volunteers. I mentioned something about the welfare team, and at Castle, we are really well looked after. So 
if we have any issues that we want to talk to someone about, we can always go to the welfare team. Anyone in the college office will be willing to listen to you. If not, if you want to talk to someone that you know, then you can talk to one of the student uh, welfare officers. So the welfare team is here just to listen to you and also signpost uh, relevant services that might be helpful to whatever issues that you might be facing. And also if you do just want to chat, they are there for you as well. During exam time we have something called the stress test campaign and we usually get the two welfare dogs in for petting sessions. So I think that's enough for now. If you do have any more specific questions, do feel free to leave a comment down below. And also I'll link a video playlist um, here and also in the description below as well, just so you can have a taste of the life at Durham. In the meantime, hope that you're well and best of luck with your applications. See you next time.